actually go back to last year. Uh, you, you may remember last year, um, San Antonio, uh, this is the Hotel Minger, is it not? <laughs> this is the Pelly of the Rough Riders, is it not? Conference, a G.K. Chesterton conference. Really? There are no Rough Riders here? No, no. Not a, you're, you're not a veteran? You weren't with me charging up San Juan Hill? Uh, Chesterton, I met him in 1910. I wanted to meet him. That was after my African safari. My last chance to be a boy again. And, uh, and it was, you know, we agree on something, not on everything, but we have some of the same enemies, the great capitalists of my country, members of what I call the wealthy criminal class, <laughs> J.P. Morgan. You know what he said when I went off to Africa on my safari? He said, every American hopes that every lion will do its duty. <laughs> my water buffalo, my elephant. I got everything, 296 animals in all. Yes, my party, the Republican Party, was poised between the wealthy criminal class on the one hand and the lunatic fringe on the other. And my fear is that had Mr. Chesterton been here in the United States, I might very well have declared him to be a member of the lunatic Fringe. <laughs> distributism. What is distributism? This is the 20th century, is it not, ladies and gentlemen? The age of concentration. The age of power. There are labor unions with three million members in this country. There are corporations capitalized that have billion dollars. This is not going to be turned back. Therefore, you must have government bigger than everything. Yes. I know the Speaker of the House, Uncle Joe Cannon, said Roosevelt's got no more use for the Constitution than a tomcat has for a marriage license. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, yes. Colonel, Colonel Roosevelt, yes. this is not the 20th century. <laughs> it's not. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wrong on that one, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Colonel, I, I think you should probably go see if it's time to catch that train. Um, we we are grateful. We are grateful that Colonel Roosevelt came a year after he Ladies and gentlemen, it's not the critic who counts. It's not the one who points out how the strong man stumbled or how the tour of deeds might have done them better. Or the credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred with dust and sweat and blood who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, and who spends himself in a worthy cause so that his place will never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. Thank you very much. All right.
There are people who say that Chesterton reminds them of Theodore Roosevelt. Yeah. <laughs> Chesterton himself noted the, the similarity, and they did meet, and that's, that was a true fact. They did meet. Theodore Roosevelt visited England and was uh, welcomed by a reception of, of writers and uh, was asked who he wanted to sit with, and he asked to sit next to G.K. Chesterton. So, uh, no record of that conversation.